Welcome back into our Morning Moments with Jesus family and our devotion time for today. The Lord speaks a word to us today out of Isaiah chapter 61, specifically in verse number 3. And in this verse, there seems to be a great exchange program that goes on with God. And what God loves to do is He loves for us to bring our concerns and our struggles and our things in our in the in life that that are, are bogging us down and slowing us down. He loves for us to bring those things to Him, so that He can exchange it and give us the spiritual things that the treasures of heaven into our life so that we can be more productive. There may be something going on in your life right now that you feel like you've reached the end of your journey with it. There's, There's just nothing else you feel like you can do. And so when you look at that situation, you say it's over, that there's just no way I can keep going in this. And there may be a possibility that God is trying to tell you that that season of your life is over. And that you need to move on to the next season in your life. But God also may be telling somebody this morning not to give up on that situation too soon. Because in in Isaiah chapter 61 and verse number 3, the Lord says, I give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, and the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that He might be glorified. You see this exchange here for ashes and for mourning and, and for heaviness. That's what we bring to the Lord. But what He gives us is beauty and joy and the garment of praise, all for His glory. So whatever that situation is this morning that God may be speaking at this moment to you, there's a few things that I'm going to pray over you today that you might be able to discern and, and see what is of the Lord and what's not of the Lord. Is this season over and you need to move on to the next season or are you giving up on this situation too soon? Whatever the case may be, my prayer for you first and foremost is that God would give you spiritual eyesight to see. The Lord says that He tells us to try the spirits and see what's of the Lord and what's not of the Lord. But I pray over you spiritual eyesight that's different than physical eyesight, that the Holy Spirit might reveal those things which are truth to you. And that you can clearly see, get past the emotions, get past the fear, get past the worry, get past the frustration. And be able to see clearly what God has for you to see. Now once you can see it, I pray over you a spirit of direction. That once God shows you the way to go, that you would have the courage to go that direction. Even if you don't know what waits on you, I tell you what waits on you. Beauty for ashes, joy in the place of mourning, and the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That God might be glorified through this whole direction that God is trying to take you to. I also pray a spirit of encouragement on you because any time There's a new direction. Anytime we say, I've got to invest more in this. I'm not willing to give up on this. God says it's not over until he says it's over. So I'm going to keep investing my life into this situation. And I pray for the spirit of encouragement. Because you're going to need that. I also pray this morning very earnestly for the spirit of wisdom and discernment to know the difference to see what the enemy's trying to put into your life and what God is trying to sow into your life and that you would know the difference lastly i pray for the spirit of confirmation perhaps even this devotion this morning lets you know that God is telling you 
it's not over until he says it's over. Or perhaps he's telling you it's time for you to move in a new direction. Now only you know that. And that's between you and God. So take a little time this morning and spend some time with the Lord. And get these things in your spirit. Lord, I need spiritual eyesight. I need direction. Lord, I need your encouragement. Send somebody or just through the power of the Holy Spirit, encourage me this morning with wisdom and discernment and confirm your word in my life. Today, I pray that you be safe, you be strong, and you be blessed. But I pray above everything else that God would show you His direction and give you this great exchange in your life. Beauty for ashes, joy for mourning, and the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that you might be able to say, is it really over? Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. And until then, have a great day.